What is up guys? The Marauders dev team just gave us a date announcement on their new excavation update which will be releasing on July 4th. Kind of bummed out that it's going to be releasing on a holiday for me in which I celebrate all day and night so I won't be playing but I'm still going to cover what the new pre-patch notes say. So let's get to some reading. Posted today. Attention all marauders. The excavation update is coming July 4th and it looks like they posted a link to a new trailer. I'm going to post that in the description below where you guys could check that out. Now that looks like the uh, the mini mine they posted. It says board the mining forget a breach only location known for its riches to be found at the bottom of the mine but be warned the fight for this loot will be deadly and you may not make it out alive. The mining forget is not the only location you want to loot. Return to the penal colony to hunt the warden our newest raid boss the prisoners locked away their captors and their revolt but now it's time to release them but beware the warden will not discriminate you from the prisoners that locked him away that seems interesting um i wonder if they're gonna be running around with shotguns everywhere we'll see uh, before we get into the pre-patch notes, they say we have a few statements we would like to make. We know we teased a solo queue system last time we spoke, but we have had to delay that feature. We're sorry for anyone looking forward to it, but we are focused on establishing a more robu robust matchmaker before making a big adjustment like this. It is currently still on the development path, so once we are happier with matchmaking overall, we will introduce solo queue options. We also took some time to look at the original vision of marauders and realized we were stumbling into too much of a movement shooter making it much less hardcore than we originally wanted so they are looking to make changes to combat and engagements to make things more tense and far more tactical um honestly i am i'm actually excited for that and the above paragraph when they're talking about solo queue um i totally forgot about that that's going to be really cool if they introduce the solo queue so then we can go into a solo only lobby. I hope they continue to develop that and make it right. Them just making the game more harder and tactical is something that I realized that they kind of strayed away from in the beginning where it was kind of difficult in the beginning of the game with the AIs being a lot harder. They're a little aimbody, but things kind of got easier. The AIs, everything got a little easier. So I kind of want to see how they go about doing that. Um, they also say you'll see in the beginning of these changes in the excavation update coming July 4th. So we're going to be seeing combat and engagements a little more hardcore and far more tactical. So that's going to be interesting. To wrap this up, we have some big updates to announce regarding our development process. We've heard you when you let us know that the longer gaps between updates can feel a bit too spaced out, which I do. A lot of people have been saying that over the course of the last couple months. They're going to be switching things up from here on out. They say they're going to be releasing smaller updates every two weeks with our major beats still happening every eight weeks. So every eight weeks, they're going to have major updates. Every two weeks, they're going to have smaller updates. That's going to keep things interesting. The communication is just going to be a lot better. So that's good. This means a couple of things will be changing more balancing bug fixing small adjustments to features and weapons will be coming more often in the smaller updates do larger features in maps etc coming in the major beats more on this to come all right below is a list of some of the features and changes coming to marauders in the excavation update these are all bullet points and i'm just going to read through them and then we could talk about it mini mine mining forget which is the breach only map location it's going to become in region select and matchmaking refactor solving those cursed long search times which is good i really want them to focus on that because the longer we wait the more bored we get the less we want to play you know that's what steered me away from playing tarkov is just because it just takes forever to get into a game and you know by the by the end of the day I, I look at it i'm like oh i only played a couple matches but i've been on the game for freaking six hours so warden penal colony boss and unlockable cosmetic two additional airlocks for colony cruiser jump gate spawning gates are delayed until later into the match however can be called in anytime inside the raid location the slot machine you can Risk your silver coins for gold, which in that's going to be located in the space board bar area. New healing system, a more hardcore healing system. Healing replication, see and hear others healing. Bleeding, shotguns, and dart weapons cause it the most. Zero to hero rebalance. Less missions require specific raids. Less context sensitive. Navy mages are needed no more, for example. Ooh, make a lot of people happy. 15 plus new weapon attachments. Chances of single central POIs, for example, just a Navy outpost, but still has chances for breaching raids around it. Attachments have chance to spawn on weapons in the vault. The vaults are going to be getting a buff. ADS movement balancing. Lighter weapons allow faster aim walking. Larger weapons are slower, which I think is fair more unique actors slash puzzles slash hidden locations p sp 
one pistol using the new dart ammo pistol spawns mas 44 7.62 semi-automatic rifle ua marines and vault drops and the thompson special integrated suppressor okay so we're gonna be getting the mini mine that's gonna be coming this is the breach only map location that's been talked about for months now um i know a lot of people are actually excited to play the map including myself the region selected matchmaking refactor is going to be good for everybody trying to load into the game and uh hopefully they can just continue to work on that and solve that issue warden penal colony boss so we're going to be getting another boss it's going to be in the penal colony and we're going to be able to unlock the cosmetic probably over the course of killing the boss multiple times the colony cruiser is going to get two additional airlocks now let's go down to the new healing system i'm uh i'm actually quite excited i don't even know how to explain it but i definitely want to see how that's gonna be i definitely want to check out the new healing system the healing replication and uh being able to see and hear others healing um, i think that's gonna be cool um that's kind of like tarkov when you hear someone open up that cms kit or patch themselves up just enables you to either reposition um or even just push that person and try to try to eliminate them bleeding shotguns and dart weapons cause the most so i didn't really know what dart dart weapons was i wasn't really paying attention to that i don't know if they even explained that um previously but it's kind of interesting zero to hero rebalance the biggest takeaway is the navy majors are needed no more so that's going to be cool and uh i wonder how they're gonna um integrate the rebalance on the whole zero to hero 15 plus new weapon attachments that's cool ever since they integrated the weapon attachments i thought it was a cool little gig that they did um so i'm i'm interested to see what type of new weapon attachments that we're going to be getting so right below the weapon attachments chances of single central points of interest so instead of so many places two big outposts and then a bunch of little breachable things around it um being able to have the chance to just have one place where everybody goes it's going to be pretty cool i love to get into fights so the more people the better for me attachments have a chance to spawn on weapons in the vault um that's one thing i you know i brought up when uh, the attachments came out that we could only um craft the attachments now we're going to actually be able to find weapons with the attachments on it which is pretty cool vaults actually are buffed now it's going to just make more people want to go open up the vault and there's going to be a lot more probably people around the vault to fight and the ads movement balancing lighter weapons allow faster aim walking larger weapons are slower i think that's a good balance i think that's how it should be and what's quite interesting is the unique actors puzzles and hidden locations more little things to find in the game that's awesome i hope they can continue to update the game and add more hidden locations and to keep everything fresh and new now i really don't know much about the new dart ammo we're just gonna have to check that out the spp1 is the gonna be the pistol using the new dart ammo and being able to find them in the vault is gonna be the mas 44 7 0.62 semi-automatic rifle quite interested to see how that weapon is going to perform and then the thompson thompson special it's going to have an integrated suppressor so that's it for the pre-patch notes guys um i hope this brings back a little bit more of the player base they say we are going to see you guys on july 4th for the excavation update and the full patch notes let me know in the comments below guys what you guys think will you guys be uh, coming back to marauders to play once again if so let me know. Have a good day, everybody.